welcome back this is chapter third gopal and the hills of fish and today i'm here with the exercises from this chapter and first up we have the word meaning here so let's begin first one hilsha a kind of fish second fishmonger a person who sells fish third believe trust next palace a house of a king fifth courtiers ministers sixth guilty a person who has committed a crime seventh temper angry or calm state of mind eighth majesty a title given to a king or queen challenge dare or invitation for a contest 10 smearing applying or rubbing disgraceful disrespectful scornful 12 comical funny 13 mystic a person with magical powers next crazy fool or stupid 15th ridiculous funny humorous 16 fashion a particular style of thing 17 forgotten gone out of mind 18 strangely amazingly or peculiarly some correction is required this is Z here amazingly peculiarly next is number 19 enough sufficient 20th interested found enjoyable and the last word is downcast looking downwards so this is all from word meaning okay from here we move on to the next item that is fill up so here we have the fill ups okay so let's begin the first one here we have is number first fishmongers sold nothing but hilsa fish and the word to be marked here is fishmongers number second the courtiers fell silent with downcast eyes and the word to be marked here is downcast third you can't possibly go out in those disgraceful rags and the word to be marked here is disgraceful number fourth why are you dressed up in this ridiculous fashion and the word here is ridiculous number fifth your majesty you seem to have forgotten something the word to be marked here is forgotten and the last two last fill up from here is number six gopal congratulations you have achieved the impossible once again and the word to be marked here is congratulations with this we come to the end of fill ups now after fill ups we have the question answers from um, this chapter so let's begin first one why did the king want no more talk about the hilsha fish answer all over the kingdom and there was only one talk and it was about hilsha fish no one seemed interested in other matters the king was fed up with it and so he wanted no more talk about it. Number second, what did the king ask Gopal to do 
to prove that he was clever. Answer. The king asked Gopal to bring a huge hill of fish from market to the palace without a person talking about it. Next, number third. What three things did Gopal do before he went to buy his hill of fish? Answer. Before going to market, he shaved his beard half, applied ash, and wore torn clothes. Number four. How did Gopal get inside the palace to see the king after he had bought the fish? After reaching the palace, he asked the gods to let him in to see the king. When he was not allowed, he started to dance and sing loudly at the gate. He was not ready to go without meeting the king and continued to create ruckus there. Finally, he was allowed to see the king. Last question. Explain why no one seemed to be interested in talking about the Hilsha fish which Gopal had brought, bought. Answer. Gopal's appearance was so peculiar that Whoever saw him was in awe of his looks and could only think of the makeup he had put on. And with this, we come to the end of question answers as well as all the exercises from this chapter. Thank you.